Well, good morning and uh, welcome to RSPB Ottmore in the heart of Oxfordshire. It's about an hour and a quarter's drive from my home and I'm here for the day. Lots of species to be had here. It's my first time here and um, I bought some new kit um, to help me along and I'll show you what, what I got later on. Um, but first of all, I, I, I've upgraded my lenses. Um, those of you who don't see the My Community posts, um, go on my community post and you'll see what lenses I got. I brought one of them out with me today as my secondary wildlife lens. So I've got my 100 to 400 Sigma. I bought the teleconverter as well. I've also bought my 70 to 200 Nikon F4. And I've got a teleconverter with that as well. And um, we'll be using both of them today. Also bought myself a Movo G8700 gimbal head for my tripod. Just to make life a little bit easier. So anyway, we're going to crack on and see what we can find. I'll see you later. So I'm stood, stood, stood here overlooking this rather vast wetlands here. And I've just had some red wings down in, down in, um, just down here in front of me. As you can see, got the camera set up on my gimbal head, a Movo GH700. Got it quite cheap. I've been wanting one of these, this specific model, for uh, about a year now, and it's just a little bit too expensive. But now they've bought out the GH800. This is a lot cheaper. I got this for £65 off of Amazon. Um, I bought my ZV-1 to vlog with today. Um, it's quite arduous to be fair. I should have bought my GoPro. Um, but yeah, so I've just seen some lapwings down there. And we got, what we got over there? Got swans, coots, moorhens. Um, seen a red kite. There's been deer out here as well. And it's just a good place just to, uh, just to stop and look. Incidentally, I've got the uh, teleconverter on as well, on the Sigma, the 1.4 times. I've got some deer just over there as well. I'll zoom in and take some video of that in a minute. Anyway, yeah, so it's looking quite good here. Should have a good day here. So at the moment I'm looking at a northern shoveler. Very nice looking bird. Nice and colourful. Taking a couple of images and put them up on the screen. And uh, no doubt you've already seen a video. But in one of the um, lookout posts on this site.
Right, so I'm continuing my way around this rather vast RSPB site in uh, Oxmoor in Oxfordshire. And I've seen in front of me, I've got a, a flock of lapwings flying about and I've seen some crane, uh, herons rather, as well. They was just up this path here and as I turned the corner they flew off, they're very flighty birds. Yeah, I'm trying to, trying to see if I can get some of these lapwings. Now I've had uh, common pochards, a shoveler, uh, Canadian geese, grey lag, um, had a red kite as well, buzzard. It's all sorts of wildlife here, it's well worth a visit. It's very popular, mind. So I'm really enjoying myself, it's just nothing around, it's just all you can hear is geese talking away and birds chirping. It's really quiet and nice. Just what the doctor ordered on a Saturday. So what I'm looking so uh, what I'm looking at here I think is a flock of golden plovers and in amongst that we've got some lapwings. Oh, they've just taken off. And they're flying around. Lovely. They keep doing this murmuration. Oh, going over my head. Wow. Absolutely wonderful. Hoping they might land back in the field. Anyway, well, keep on doing what I'm doing. As you can probably, uh, as you can probably see behind me, just up there, that is the wetlands lookout. And I've just spent the last 40 minutes in there. There's, there's about three or four around here, all dotted all over the place, um, path le leading off everywhere. Not touched half this place, you know. It's been really good today. Um, it's getting off about half past two now, I think. So I'm going to walk down the main main drag over there and have a stop and look out and see what's about. And uh, been really enjoying it. The, the Movo GH700 gimbal has really proved its worth today. Really enjoyed using it. So I'm going to get cracking that way and uh, I'll see you later. So I've been stood here for the last 45 minutes trying to get a, a flight shot of a lapwing. taken a few. I've not actually looked on the back of the camera yet, but I've taken over 300, 300 images today. I think that's including the video I've taken. I've taken quite a lot of video as well with this, which is going to take an age to download. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just trying to get an in-flight shot of a lapwing or when they're on the ground with their wings uh, spread out. They are here. There's loads of them. 
I'm surrounded by them, but they're just stationary, they're not doing nothing. I'm still stood here, I've been here for a while now. It's uh, coming up to half past four. I've, I've clocked something right on the other side of the wetlands in a tree. I saw it go in there. I'm not too sure what it is. I, I took a picture and I've pinched and zoomed, but obviously at this distance, even with the teleconverter, you're not going to get nothing. And I have a feeling it's an owl. And it hasn't moved. It's moving its head about and everything else, but it's just not just not flying out. It's too far off for a picture. I just want to see if it comes out that tree. It comes closer. But anyway, time's getting on. It's half past four. I'm going to cut the video here. I'll say thank you for watching. If you want to know again, if you don't want to know what settings I use, look at my previous uh, video. The card will be up in the screen. And uh, also don't forget to check out the community post I put up. It tells you whereabouts I am and also the new lenses that I bought. So anyway, I'll say thanks for watching again, and I'll see you later.